Hey everyone, it's me, Sydney. So if you guys are here because you guys saw the title, welcome to my channel. And if you guys are new to my channel, then hopefully you guys can hit the subscribe button and give my channel some love and this video some love. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's just get started. So first of all, if you guys click the title, then this is my first ever episode in my Weight Loss Wednesdays. And I'm really excited because I'm on this journey and I wanted to really like incorporate you guys in it and give you guys tips and tricks. No matter what you guys have as your goal, I'm going to help you guys get there. So I'm not a professional or anything, so please don't take any of my things and think that I'm telling you guys exactly what to do. And this is just what works for me and what I've seen work for others. So. First of all, I want you guys to think of what your goal is, whether it's getting fit, maintaining your weight, um, like getting your fitness level higher or losing weight, gaining weight, whichever thing you have as your goal, take that goal and then what you guys should do is create six short-term goals and then one long-term goal. I suggest doing a month, 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 month as the short goals for six months and then the long term for a year so that you have something that will keep you going and the thing for me is what I did was I picked a couple of clothing pieces that I want to fit me in however long it takes but they're like considered short term goals because they're not going to take me a long time because they're only one size down so what I did was I picked clothing that I don't fit now that I know I can achieve sooner rather than later and then I can choose a new clothing piece to replace that that's another size smaller so I chose some clothing pieces, I chose some, like, a weight, you know, because the scale can tell you a lot, but if you're gaining muscle um, when you're trying to gain weight or if you're losing fat and you're trying to lose weight and you're gaining muscle, it's, the scale isn't always a good determiner of your progress. And yes, you will still lose a little bit of weight, but if you are, like, ask, telling yourself you're going to lose, like, 60 pounds in five months, but yet you're weightlifting, I'm telling you right now, that's probably not going to happen unless you're one of those people that's like extremely obese and you need to lose like 100 pounds, then that'll happen. But for me personally, what I've noticed is I've lost 30 pounds, but I've also gained a lot of muscle. And I'm telling you right now, the scale and I, like we have a good relationship on some days, but some days, I'm not even kidding you, I want to smash the scale with a hammer. Like I will take the hammer and... It's just like one of those things where I choose other things besides the scale to determine my progress. So with that, um, pick some goals. And then the next thing is with those goals that you have, figure out what to do to reach them. So what I did is I chose things that are attainable that I can like keep up with and I'm able to like do as a life a lifestyle so like I'm doing this as a lifestyle change because I feel like it's a lot healthier to do this gradually rather than losing all the weight and then gaining it back because I've done that before and I didn't lose all of it but I lost some weight and then I gained it back and I gained back a lot more so I really wanted to do this as a lifestyle change because I feel so much better but with that it's like a lot of work and I have to like really stay committed and stuff and keep motivated so with that, I changed my eating habits and I was eating really badly. Like this is from personal experience and then I'll tell you guys what you guys can do that I've noticed other people have done and what I've done combined to make it work and what I could have done to like help it. So I think I did pretty well. It took me about two to three months to really weed out all the bad stuff from my diet. I mean, I still eat some of it, but I ate really badly like my meal was basically someone if you saw them you'd think they're gonna die in like five years because of what I'm eating so I was eating like a bag of hostess donuts um, like the actual bag like not the little roll things the prepackaged like I was getting the bags of the mini donuts and I was eating those and I could literally eat at least a bag in under an hour and then I was eating a bunch of junk food. I had Sonic every single day. I was just, it was just a ton of bad things for me. And I started weeding things out like I stopped having Sonic. Like I, I weeded it out. I let myself have Sonic once a week. And that took me a while to do because I was cutting out other stuff before I did the Sonic because you want to do the little things like stop having soda. I haven't had soda since December and it's been a couple months now and I feel really good like I don't really crave it I don't really want it 
and when I do want it, I mean, I just tell myself, Sydney, do you want to lose this weight or do you want to do that? Sometimes I will say, yes, I want whatever I want and then I'll have it, but other times I don't. Like soda, I don't want. Other things, I kind of do. Like pizza, I will sometimes still have. But the whole thing is finding a balance and moderation in everything. And what I ended up doing was I just started cutting out the things that I didn't need, that I didn't want. And I was just eating because they were there. And I started making those changes. And then within those three months, I just took the change and took the chance. And I just went full force. So with that, I just want you guys to focus right now on taking things out of your diet and putting good things in and eating more of those good things. If you're not eating enough, eat more. If you're eating too much, eat, like make yourself a plate. And if you're really hungry afterwards, drink water and then see if you're still hungry. That's one of the things that I worked on portion control, but don't feel like you're starving yourself and do not starve yourself. So this is kind of not talking about anything past the like getting started, but I'll have more videos on that. And I'm going to talk to you guys all about food in another video. So focus on what you're putting into your body and just track it. I use my fitness pal and you guys can add me on my fitness pal. It's, um, fit Sydney. And, um, you guys can just add me on there and I'll add you guys back. And you guys, my diary for my food is open. So you guys can look at what I'm eating right now and see that I'm not eating like 100% 24-7 clean. Like I still eat foods that are real and good and healthy and then I still have days when I eat stuff that's just not good. But um, I usually don't do it that often but in the beginning I did a lot because I was trying to like weed it out so I had to not completely cold turkey it otherwise it was just too extreme. So with that food is covered now on to exercise so the first thing is you don't need a gym membership you don't need an armband you don't need a nice pair of nikes all you need are a pair of running shoes because running in converse is not good for you so get a pair of running shoes if you don't have them already and then a random old t-shirt a pair of shorts a sports bra because you will feel the pain if you have big boobs like honestly i I wear two sports bras so if you guys have a bigger chest then wear two and it's a lot more supportive and then just have headphones or something so that you can listen to music and what I did in the beginning was I used to I went I didn't go to boot camp in the beginning and then I started that back up because it's really good for me to wake up in the morning it starts my day off like the way I want it to but a lot of people that I know look up like blog lotties but what I personally recommend is cardio cardio loses the weight quickly but I recommend starting with cardio in the beginning so you can lose the weight because honestly the hardest thing for me was my knees and my ankles have a lot of weight on them and what I what I ended up doing was running slash walking slash jogging like I did intervals and I did couch to 5k so if you guys don't know how to run if you guys aren't very athletic I recommend doing couch to 5k or doing intervals and there's tons of apps that they have and what I recommend doing is I'll have a whole nother video on workouts and stuff, but what you should do is get an app for a timer or something that has intervals on it and then run and then walk, run, walk, one, run, walk. And this will really get your heart rate up. This will be great. And all you need is your phone, the app, your headphones and the running clothes. Like that's all you need. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need fancy Nikes. You don't need fancy athletic clothing. You just need yourself, your motivation and going out there and doing it. So I recommend that you guys really like just do something that's active 30 minutes a day. So it's 70% is eating well and a lot of it has to do with the fact that a lot of people put bad foods in so then they either go on like caffeine runs or like they just put bad things in their body and then they're not able to sleep at night they have stomach aches or little things like that and what you also need to do is get a lot of sleep and I'm telling you guys right now at least eight hours I get eight hours of sleep at night and I feel so much better when I didn't get a lot of sleep though I felt really deprived, I felt like I was running on empty, and I just wasn't putting the right foods into my body either when I first started. So I felt like I was always tired, and now I feel super refreshed. I'm never really tired anymore, actually, because I'm eating a lot better, and I'm getting enough sleep, and I'm taking the medication that I have to take for my thyroid, which is another thing. So if you guys have thyroid um, problems, or if you have hyperthyroid, then 
there's so many things you can do. Wheatgrass, if you guys have hypothyroid like I do, because I have hypothyroidism, and I take Le Levi Thyroxin. And if you guys take that also, I know you can also take Armor and like they have other medications for it, but um, I take Levi Thyroxin. And I've noticed that when I take my medication and then when I don't, I really don't see a difference. But when I eat well and I like do everything I'm supposed to be doing with my body, the symptoms go away. And I really, I'm young and I have hypothyroid. And I know a lot of people that are older, they get diagnosed with it and I've had it since I was like really young, so I'm kinda used to it. But if you guys are having a hard time losing weight, I think you guys should probably like look into it. Ask your doctor if they can test you for it, only because I've always had it, so I don't really know how the process is, but I know that it really, it's your metabolism and it, it's your thyroid so obviously it's slow down like you have a really hard time losing weight and stuff and since mine really doesn't work I take medication to boost it and the exercise helps my metabolism too I just recommend to be patient and the weight might not come off right away and you just have to be patient you can see progress the scale isn't your only thing that'll determine your progress so what I recommend doing with this whole video I've been rambling on is Exercise for 30 minutes a day. Just get your blood pumping, your metabolism up, and make yourself happy. Because I know when I exercise, my endorphins kicks in, and then I'm happy as a clam, and my mom's like, why don't you just exercise all day, because then you're never mean. And I'm like, well... So, um, the other thing is, eat better than you did before. Eat better than the day you did before, the week before. Just make better choices. If you want that cookie, you can have a cookie, but make a better make better choices all day and don't eat late night snacks. That's all I'm saying. For this first beginning, just getting started is if you want that food, have it, but eat well in like 70% of the time and then that 30% you can eat what you want. You know what I mean? Like don't feel deprived and don't deprive yourself. Everything in moderation is okay. And when you're really trying to get on track after those three months, then take those 21 days to dial in and eat well and have one cheat meal per week. And I will talk all about that stuff in the ne in like another video, but really just focus on eating better in the overall. If you have something bad, don't beat yourself up. This is like a whole process and you just need to love it and live it and like understand that this is your life and this is what you're going to be taking control of. So eating, exercising, and the last thing is feeling better about yourself on the inside. So for me, I struggled with that a lot and I have really bad times and I have really good times. Like right now, I'm having a great day. I'm having one of those, like actually this whole week has been awesome. But the week before I was on my period, so everything in life sucked. That Like, honestly, I was in such a bad mood. For some reason, like, when I'm on my period, I'm in a negative state of mind, and I just don't know how to fix that. But I'm really working on that. And I recommend that you just change it day by day. Wake up in the morning and say, today's going to be a great day. I'm happy, I'm confident, and I'm healthy. Just say that every morning, and then... When you go to bed, take those five minutes to recap all the good things that happened that day and just really understand what you're doing with your body in this whole journey and no matter what happens, just know that there is progress. If you take that one step forward or even a half step forward, doesn't matter what the scale says, if you're eating better, your body will thank you. So just do what do what like what you need to do in the beginning and don't go extreme. Just do little things to change how your life is and gradually it'll get better and get easier to do. So that's kind of my spiel for this video. If you guys enjoyed, then I hope that you guys did because I mean this is kind of my life and this is kind of what I've been able to like deal with and stuff and this is why I haven't really been uploading but if you guys are curious on more things and you have questions comment them down below and you guys can check out my fitness pal and my Instagram account so I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next weight loss one day Wednesday video and if you guys are interested in like having me do a certain video on something specific then let me know like what apps I use or what workouts or eating or a food diary or something like that then let me know I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye